so um, here we are. We're going to start digging in a little bit more into the GT6. Um, already started with a little bit of exploratory surgery, as you can see, kind of looking to see, uh, find out what the situation really is. Um, so I'm going to take you on a walk around and, and point out some of the things that I found, what we're, what we're going to have to look at and, and take care of. Um, my plans for today is there's a few spots I'm going to be cutting some metal out. So this, this car is kind of like a little bit lower on the priority list because I'm, I'm driving the Spitfire and making some fun upgrades to it. And then the Spit 6 is my major build. But um, got this in here to kind of pick away a little bit at here and there as I, you know, kind of feel like it. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll cut some pieces out today. And uh, next video I'll be making some templates and fabricating some pieces and maybe welding some of those in. It happens as it happens. So let's uh, let's take a quick look and see what's happening here. All right. So we'll start here at the hood. You know, we come here, the bonnet, as we should say. So looking in here, um, we got quite a bit of rust happening here. I'm gonna be cutting this little piece out here uh, later. I'm gonna be needing to you know, cut this and fill this out here. You know, this is looking. Pretty nasty, rusty. That's all. This is going to need to be cut out. Um, I'm probably just going to stop about this height for now uh, because I want to get underneath and get all the, the, the rod from underneath there too. Um, so we're going to be working on this a little bit. Um, it's looking bad here. Um, along the seam, we may cut some pieces out, like right here. I think I'm going to eventually remove this seam. I love just the way it flows so much better. Um, it's like the way, seems like the way the car was designed to be. Um, over here, the metal's torn a little bit. We've got all this rust. I'm going to cut a little piece here. There's a little bit out of there. Um, the metal's torn here. It's looking bad. I've got a spare uh, Spitfire 1500 hood, but I think I've, this section is still good. I'm going to cut it out of there and just weld it and cut this out when the time happens. Um, Rocker pan. Are just you know, toast. I might cut out across here and just get out this section that's just absolutely going to be gone um, so I can get in there easier and pull this out with the, the spot welds. Um, so I might cut some of the floor pan out just so I can get in there and reach around inside. Um, this piece, there's tons of Bondo. This car has been in a few accidents. Um, I think what I'm going to do. You can see here, this is all bent in, um, looking bad here. So I'm going to cut this section across here, down to here, to here, to here, kind of following the lines, and use the other side as a template to make a patch for that. Um, and while I've got that open, then I'll have to, you know, make this flange onto here. Uh, while I've got that open, I'm going to reshape this edge so it's correct the way it's supposed to be and try to rebuild this back up. Um, before I, you know, I'll go ahead and make this piece, and before I weld it, and I plan on cutting a piece out here to get the shape a little bit better, because it's there's all these holes drilled from, so I'm trying to pull it out from before. Um, let's see, this here was just super thick with Bondo. Um, I got in there with a hammer and tapped it out some, and then the shapes come out a little bit better, but, um, you know, you can see all this is like, Bad. Tons of rust that we'll cut out later. Um, I'm going to end up cutting out some of this metal to replace here because um, they've just boogered it up so much. Um, let's see, coming across here, starting to clean up in the trunk. The lighting isn't the best. There's a nice source of light, the hole through the bottom. Um, I think, you know, I was looking at like in the corners here, and I think I'm going to need like a uh, was a shrinker stretcher set to get to make some nice little patches for in there. So I'm gonna I, I started working back here, but I'm gonna hold off on the trunk for a bit and focus more on other parts. Um, roof's looking good. You know, there's a lot of this little stuff here that's rusty. Um, so this apparently water is very easy to sit and collect in here because also the hatch is just really rusty. So what I'm planning on doing is here on the corners, I can see where it's the rust was kind of the water was accumulating. I'm just later going to cut some little 
uh, drainage channels out of there so that it can drain and that'll help prevent more rust in the future. Um, let's see, coming across here, this front lip, it's pitted. It doesn't seem like super, like there's a lot of rust there. This may be good, but I don't know what's underneath. Um, the plan is to replace the floors and um, rocker panels or inner outer sills, strengthener plate, all that stuff um, on both sides to get some good solid structure before taking off the wind frame, windscreen frame. Um, and that's when I'll really address what's in here. So that's most of what's going on. We can come around and look at the other side. Um, I haven't gotten to a whole lot of it, but it's back here. It's really, really bad. I'm not sure. You know, the screwdriver went all through there. Um, so yeah, that's where we are at with this for now. And like I said, I'm just going to pick at it a little bit here and there. So do a little bit of chopping. exciting as I thought it was going to be. Um, I miscalculated a little bit and uh, see I ran out of, oh wait, this way, you gotta see it, cutting wheel. So I got that, you know, definitely got my money's worth out of that one. So, and I don't have any other cutting wheel discs with me, so um, I'm just gonna, I guess we'll cut this one here and we'll pick up later. I'll show you the little that I cut out. So here was what I cut out in front, Let's see if we can get without windows in the back. So it's not too bad looking underneath. Um, this is this is kind of silly looking. You got all the worms growing through there from where they were like squeezing Bondo through. Um, so I got this out. Use the grinder on that seam. I'll later come over and let me sand it this way. Um, get the rest of that seam off of there. Start banging away at it with a hammer. Um, finish cutting this, you know, outer seal off. The inner seal and strengthener plate seem to be fairly decent, so it should hold the shape pretty well, so I'm not so worried about that. Um, just trying to get as much of, like, the, you know, the garbage out of here, um, clean it up, see what I got, and it's a little bit easier to go forward with an idea from there, so. All right. Um, we get, at least we got started on this thing a little bit. There's, there's going to be setbacks, but all right. Well, see you next time.